A 56 years old lady present with painful swelling over the lower end of the forearm following form. Imaging reveals distal radial fracture with a disruption of distal radioalar joint. What is the most likely fracture? The options are fracture of the distal humerus, fracture of shaft of radius and ulna, fracture of coronoid process, galliasi fracture, and fracture of the radial head. So first of all, there is a important mnemonic which is the MUGR. This mnemonic is enough to remember the Galliasi and Montagia fracture. So in case of MU, that means Montagia fracture, their fracture is ulna. In case of Montagia fracture, their the fracture is ulna. And in Galliasi fracture, Galliasi fracture, GR, the fracture occurs in the radius. So it is the key feature. First of all, the Montagia U that means the Montagia fracture it occurs the fracture occurs in ulna and in the Galliagi there is the GR Galliagi fracture fracture of the radius so this is showing the Montagia fracture this one is the Montagia fracture Montagia fracture occurs in ulna this is the ulna and this one is the radius so when there is the ulnar fracture it is the montagia, the montagia and also there is the dislocation of proximal radio ulnar joint on the other hand the galliasi gr that means the radial fracture with dislocation of distal radio ulnar joint here uh, to to remember the key point this is in case of the ulna the broad part located in the proximal part so there is the proximal dislocation but in case of radius here we can see the broad area in the distal area or in the wrist area in this condition in when there is fracture to the radius the dislocation occurs of the distal radial nerve joint and let's see the galliasi fracture the galliasi fracture is the femoral shaft fracture with distal radial nerve joint dislocation why distal because the distal end of the radius is the broad and it occurs after fall on the hand uh, with a rotational force and what is the clinical feature? Clinical features are the bruising, swelling, tenderness in the lower end of the forearm. And the X-ray reveals that it is a displaced fracture of the radius and the prominent ulnar head due to dislocation of the inferior radio ulnar joint. So what is it? It is the Galliasi fracture because there is the distal radial fracture with the disruption of the distal radio ulnar joint. But when there is the ulnar fracture, then it is the montagia and here we can see the most likely fracture it is the galliasi fracture other option here such as the fracture of the distal humerus it is not right because humerus located in the arm not in the forearm fracture of the shaft of the radius and ulna it is also not true because in the imaging there is only distal radial fracture fracture of the coronoid process the coronoid process it is the process of the ulnar bone and it is in the proximal part that means very near to the elbow joint and fracture of the radial head also not true because it the imaging it denotes directly that there is a distal radial fracture so the answer is the galliasi fracture